the temperature in the villages today? Right now, it's 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, expect a low of 63 degrees. Woohoo! Okay, we are live! So can you click on chat real quick? Yes. Uh, I hear us. Shh, stop yelling. <laughs> me? Yes, he always, he always me. tells me we're on yelling. <laughs> hey guys, it's Molly Dwayne and my son, Alex, Beard Adventures Hello. on YouTube. Um, I'm just really excited today and I can't tell you why. <laughs> Will this be added to the design space? That's why I wanted to. Yes, before the video's over. I'm going to show you how to get it on my website before the video is over. The reason I didn't want to post it is because... You won't know how to put it together. Right, you won't know how to put it together. And if you try to follow along with the live video, you might get lost because you're trying to do it while I'm showing something else. I'm, you know, so it's a little more difficult. It's easy to make, but you need to watch the steps of me making it. So Just in case if she makes a mistake. That's true. Because that happens. That's true. And I want you to be able to pause the video and watch and do it. And so that's why I think um, that's happening. So um, I'm just so excited. Mickey says hi, Melody, Alex, and staff. Staff? It's just Melody and Alex. <laughs> it's just us. <laughs> uh, I do have an assistant that works from home right now because of a pandemic. I haven't seen her. Oh, I did stop by her house one time. Yeah, we did. Yeah, but otherwise it's been a year since she's been here. Okay, let's get started. Oh, do you want to show it to me? So I can show them. So it folds flat. Now, I did put this up kind of high. This will fit in an envelope. With this being higher, I don't know what size the envelope. We'll have to figure that out and I'll have to make an envelope. Then you just push this together and look how cute that is. And I have so many ideas. Oh, I'm pushing it too hard. So many ideas for this. This is the first one I made. This was my test cut. It's not hard to do, so I'm going to show you how. But I have so many ideas for this. Alex is like, you're so ex Was it last night? We're watching TV or something, and I just kept coming up with more and more ideas on how to make more cards. So, we're going to make more cards. Is that a card? It's a card. Is it? Yes! <laughs> it's a card! You can send it to somebody. Yeah, but that doesn't mean it's a card. <laughs> I can send somebody... A Box of well, you can call it what you like. <laughs> it could be an Easter decoration. There you go. That makes more sense. It's a basket. It's cute. Okay. <clears throat> and so we are going to go over here and start. Hold on. What? Well, shout outs. Oh, we're going to do shout outs and then we're going to start. Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon. Sandy, Katina, Cynthia, Patricia, Maria, Kim, Mary, Gail, Deborah, Diane, Ann, Liz, Brenda, Robin, Tina, Karen, Mary, Lori, Tina, Kathy Ann, Melanie, Phyllis, Bonnie, Mel, Beth, Yvette, Billy Sue, Kathleen, Karen, Margarita, Penny, Linda, Leslie, Natalie, Mary Jane, Anita, Heather, Sonia, Sonia, Bella, Tina, and Marie. And a huge thank you to my VIPs. You guys are all uh, backing me up that it's a card. Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay. Yes. It is a card. Oh, and so, I have some acetate are we, extras. Are we telling them what's happening tomorrow? Oh, yeah, we can. That's not even why I'm so excited, but that, that adds to the excitement. Um, the dream box is being delivered tomorrow at the rental house. Okay. So this is the main part of the card. 
see little two faces. <laughs> two faces. Okay. And it has score lines. You do not need to do double score lines. Alex used uh, the double yeah. score line when he we we each cut part of the card. He cut the green. And I'm like, why'd you use double score lines? He said, I didn't. I said, yes, he did. I said, did you score it twice and it was off? He's like, no. And then he checked the score wheel. Oh, I did use double score wheel. Is that okay? I said, yeah. I had it in the wrong spot where I usually keep the regular score wheel. I did not create an interactive Easter Oh, card. I do want to say I did not design this card. Yeah, I was going to say, did you? I want to say thank you to, um, okay, wait a minute. I got to think how this goes. This is right. Okay. To Louise Beauregard. She designed this card. I changed a little bit. Like the Happy Easter, I changed up a little bit. She had something different. And uh, she had more print than cut than what I, I did. I didn't do it in print and cut. She also, on this basket, did embossing on these pieces, which was beautiful. So you can totally emboss these, but uh, not everyone has an embosser. So I thought, well, let me see if I can get a draw uh, background on it. So uh, I had it draw and my pen did not do so well, but I think it kind of looks cool that it's more it's not perfect you know what I mean so um, I did that but you can totally if you have an embossing machine you can totally emboss these pieces and it would look pretty like a basket and uh, I also had this have this bunny this bunny draws it draws the bunny and then I colored it in with a few markers and it was really easy and I colored some of the eggs. Eggs. He, he likes to call them eggs. I, I will not call them eggs. I like eggs. That's how I've always done it. That's I won't stop. <laughs> um, the pen draws on the eggs. <laughs> so and wrong. then you can color them in if you like or just leave them drawn. Some I just left drawn. I colored in some of the little polka dots. Yeah, the the not perfect lines do look more real, I think. I like it. Claire asked if I'm looking forward to putting together the dream box. Well, since I don't have to put it together, <laughs> yeah, uh, not, not a problem. We got it pre-built. Because I don't not taking nine hours to put that thing together. <laughs> yeah, we got it pre-built, so you only have to put the three main pieces together. Okay, so... Um, this will get folded this way and then um, this gets folded up so these will get folded this way so I may be going fast and this is why I don't want you to try to follow along and do this so once you have this all folded if you fold it wrong you can always fix it Mother it will kind says. of look like this hold on a second it'll kind of look like this oh wait i didn't fold this one down this is possible pattern vinyl for the eggs oh pattern pattern paper yeah pattern paper even for the eggs great idea i didn't think of that oh my gosh you know it'd be really pretty paper for the eggs <laughs> my favorite paper you could just put all the eggs on one paper and do them like these. I love these colors. But, you know, you can do what you want. Okay. So it will look like this. Okay, I don't think I fold I didn't fold this one correctly. It's <laughs> Make sure you fold it on the score line. I did not fold it on the score line. So, 
So when I fold this over, this should be able to fold in that. We're, we are not gluing this. This is one of the last things we do here. So don't glue that. This will be the top. These are the sides. Okay. So let me kind of show it how you will fold it. Kind of like that. If you fold it wrong, you can always bend it back the other way. And then I'm going to take these two pieces. These are stabilizers that will go inside. So, and it's kind of hard because there is a double score line with this paper. We're going to fold this one way and then the other way. So this will look like that. Going do, 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 do. I did it wrong. What? Do, do, do. See? One's this way, one's this way. Elizabeth, this uh, she'll share the file for this. Uh, It'll be at MelodyLaneInspired.com. And it is for supporters who support at $2 or more on Patreon.com. Okay. Um, let's, we have to put these together. These hold the eggs. So now we're going to put the eggs together. There's a little carrot too. Fatima says uh, thumbs up is like a doorbell. Ring it before you come into chat. Oh, that's <laughs> sweet. Yes. If you like the video, it helps YouTube share my videos. Okay. So I have a few markers. And I'm going to... This is a pink one. You can use any marker. I'm using Arteza. You can use any marker. You can use crayons, colored pencils. You don't even have to do any of it. Because as you can see, the, the maker did it, but I like to color in the circles. I want real polka dots, not outlines. Oh, I'm going to do circles here. You can just do plain eggs and color them yourself and decorate them. This one has lines. What's everyone doing today? I don't know. What's everyone doing today? <laughs> if you guys are on Facebook, we can't see your name. If you come over to YouTube, I did put a link to the video in the uh, Facebook video in the top. Fatima, she said that last night too. Uh, well, I don't know about the eggs, but uh, Fatima says the uh, eggs would look nice foiled. Yes, um, they would. You could use foil on the eggs. You could use foil on the basket. So you can have change the lines to be foiled and it would really be beautiful. Jill, what are you asking? Where is that paper from? What paper? All this paper I'm using. Oh, is Cricut. That one paper I showed, my favorite one, that's from oh. Cricut too. That's... Um, I can't think of, I think it's sold out right now. Okay, I'm not very good at coloring. And this color on orange. 
does not look good. This one's gonna go in the back. <laughs> I don't like this one. Be careful, Carrie. Getting ready for severe weather. Tornadoes expected. Oh no. Someone says you look nice and springy. Spaghetti. Spaghetti? Oh, nope. I read two things. This is oh, that's another what I comment thought. that came up and it was like replaced the other one. <laughs> nice and springy with your blue. The other one says doing laundry and eating leftover spaghetti. <laughs> I was like, springy spaghetti. <laughs> Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay these eggs out. Each one takes three eggs. We're sticking this one in the back somewhere. Um. Debbie, I am watching the progress of my grocery order and picked up by a delivery service. Hmm? We know what that's like. <laughs> oh. oh. Janice just ordered her wine mystery box. Ooh. That sounds good. She just ordered it? Is it available? Or she just received it? Because they stopped it before, but they were going to put it out again. I don't know when. Since so just ordered. Woohoo. I was thinking. Does that mean everybody's running to cricket? I was, when you said that, I was very confused because I was literally thinking wine that you drink. And I'm like, that sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put this one over here. Jamie says just flip it over and use the back because you do something wrong. Yeah. I don't like this egg. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> I didn't think of that. I'm just going to decorate it myself. Carrie has a safe room. That's good. It's fine. Eggs can be solid colors anyway. Aren't they? They're all white. Oh, Alex, Alex, Alex. <laughs> um, let's do this and this. Does, do other people have as much problem making decisions like me? On, uh, now I have two eggs that have the same decoration. Don't you have a carrot somewhere? The carrot's right here. Okay. Well, someone says you could do carrots and eggs. Oh, the bunny holds a carrot. Okay. Mm. Crystal Jones. Yep, is still available. Just ordered it myself when I saw her post. Whose post? About the wine mystery box. Oh, is somebody else ordering it? Yeah. They just came back in stock. Go run. You can come back to the video. And it'll be here later. Yeah. I don't want anyone to miss that. I'm not allowed to announce it. I didn't announce it. You guys announced it. I just asked a question about it. I didn't know. Okay, so I think I'm going to put them like this. So what I'm going to do is... This is just to make things easier for me. I'm going to move them all up in the same order that I'm going to put them down. I don't... There. And I'm going to put glue on these Linda says yes choosing fonts and paper take me forever all right you have to go take a walk no <laughs> i don't always listen to alexa okay i'm going to try to do this a quick way we're just going to put glue on all of these. I'm only putting them on the outside egg areas. And we're going to do them like this. True. Not all eggs are white. But the ones that we buy are. <laughs> I used to get brown eggs when Kelly did my shopping. I didn't change that. 
What do you mean? I didn't change the eggs you buy. No, she uh, used to actually go to the store and buy them. People do that? Yes. <laughs> when I do Instacart, I feel like the only people in there are actual Instacart shoppers because everyone's looking at their phones and scanning stuff. That's funny. Okay, we got the eggs done. Now, um... Are you on every Tuesday? Yes. Yes, every Tuesday at noon. I think I'm going to put this one And in every the Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Both of them are Eastern time. Yes. Every yeah. Saturday at 11 a.m. Oh, Eastern. you guys, this Saturday I think I'm going to give away Cricket Joy. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, and uh, every month I'm giving away a cutie. I don't know yet when I might give that cutie away. Okay, first, I guess it doesn't matter which one we do first. I am going to put two of these in, just deciding which two. You can't say what's in the mystery box right no i cannot say what's in the mystery box but people have already posted so if you guys know what's in the mystery box i can't stop you from saying what's in the mystery box but we're not going to repeat it just because okay we're going to pull these down so the eggs are in here and we're gonna pull them down to here. And we did not use any craft board on this project. It's all cardstock. Now this is when we're gonna put one of the stabilizers in that are folded like this. And we are going to glue that right in between these two holes in this hole. And it's gonna be level this way. And it's gonna be, so we're putting glue on this end and then we're gonna place that there. And then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do ahead of time. We're gonna straighten out these and on the little tabs sticking up here, we're gonna put glue on those and on this one. Let me see if I can bring this up closer. So first we're gonna put glue on here and we're going to glue that down. Then after we do that, we're going to put glue on the little white tabs. See the little white tabs? Fold them up, put glue on those, fold this one up, put glue on here, and then you're going to fold this up and press that glue onto this piece. So it's not hard. This is the hardest part. But it's not even hard. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. So um, we're going to put glue here. So everyone's asking about, since you announced it now, the Joy giveaway, is there anything that they're going to have to do? or They have to be live and be able to be in the chat on YouTube. And I have to get enough likes in that video to give it away. Like a lot of likes. It's not just a joy machine. It's a joy in machine. Well, the joy is a machine. And uh, now I'm just trying to get this straight. Um, supplies up to two hundred and uh, like forty nine dollars. So you'll get the joy machine plus supplies. Retail value worth. Does double sided tape work instead of glue? Um, you could use double-sided tape if it's really sticky. I just like glue. Okay, now I'm going to pull these eggs down as far as I can to make sure they're down far. Oh, wait, we have to do the other egg. See, I almost forgot that part. Now we have to put the other one in. 
So now we have three. Where did this file come from? Uh, Louise Beauregard uh, started the base of it. She did most of it, and then I changed it a little bit. So it was completely designed inside Design Space. And then before it's not before an it's SVG. Over. Yeah, before it's over, I'll show you how to get it. If you support my channel for only two dollars at patreon.com slash melody lane, you'll get over 900 files. Um, thank you for subscribing. There, I put the Patreon at the top. Okay, so now we're going to add glue to all of these at the same time. I'm using art glitter glue. And make sure these are all straight. Oops, I feel like this one is not completely straight or this one. Okay, and then we're going to push this down. Shipment has arrived. I'm just gonna press this down. And then it'll look like this from the side and like that. And then this is also not folded correctly, Melody. Gotta fold it on the score line. It's hard when you use the double score line on cardstock. We're gonna glue these together like that, but I'm not gonna do that yet. How often do we have to chat to be entered? Um, only once, like near the- uh, Once it's a- Once, once I it. announce it, because Nightbot randomly chooses somebody from the last 15 minutes. So like I let you guys know, okay, you need to start chatting now or say something. And you only need to say something once. Okay, so then that's going to go like this. And these two, we're going to go ahead and do the backs of these. Um, we're going to do the same thing. But I'm going to use, in the file, you will see two tall acetates. It's hard to see these, I know. And two small. You only need two. You do not need four. But um, Louise had this size of the small ones, which is fine uh, to hold up the sign. But I wanted the sign a little higher. So I left both sizes in there so you guys can choose. If you want it to fit in an envelope, better use the small ones. But I kind of liked it up high. But like when it's folded, uh, then instead of like stopping here for maybe a square envelope, it would fit in easily. I made it higher. So you can do what you like. And I put green here because I thought it would look like grass. So if you have any Easter grass, here's my idea that I want to do. And I just haven't even gone. I, I worked on this all day yesterday until pretty late. Um, I want to glue. Whoops. No, you can't make this on the dry. I want to glue a little Easter grass just a little bit inside there between the eggs. Yeah, the joy will not, you can't do this on the joy. I mean, it's, it would be hard. It's possible to slice it and possibly do things. Okay, but we are going to put in the acetate sheets and the acetate sheets also have a score line at the bottom. Oh, and I wanna say when, a lot of the times when there's like a light gray in the mats, that means in the, it's acetate. Like yeah, in, in my projects, I make acetate a really light gray 
uh, in the project file so you know that is the acetate. That's another reason we didn't share the file ahead of time because you might not have known that was acetate. So we're going to do this one just like the other one. We're going to put these in with the, um, the fold is facing us. This little fold on the acetate, I know it's hard to see, but it's folded up and uh, actually it folds up too high. I had trouble with my first one because it kind of stays where you fold it. That's so that make, too, it, Robbie. make it like an L shape. What? Um a pot of gold with a leprechaun popping out yeah actually she made that one and i was going to show you guys how to do that but since saint patrick's day is tomorrow i thought it was kind of too late so i will add that one to my file um i haven't really looked at it up close um but i can add that that is made by louise beauregard okay now, because there's no ending to this acetate, I thought, well, how do we know where to place these? So my thought is, see how much room there is from the bottom of this fold right here to the hole, and then leave about that much room down here at the bottom. But actually, I don't think it matters as long as they're even because then it would just, it just depends on how far up this is. But you don't want it too short, otherwise that, well, because they're not stuck. So it really doesn't matter. Okay, making it harder than it is. We're just gonna put those on. Now it's time to put the stabilizer on this one. So remember this is folded like this, do, do, do and we're gonna fold it we're gonna put glue here so then it's folded down like this and then we'll do that bottom do you guys think this is hard and we're gonna put this in between the two holes it doesn't matter if it's exactly in between as long as it's straight across. These stabilizer may not even be totally necessary. That's what Louise told me, but um, she did them, so I'm doing them. It certainly doesn't hurt. So now we're going to put the eggs in. Now, this is the back so now we want to turn the eggs over so i want to flip the little thing up this way because i always want this to face me when i'm putting it in and you want to push these all the way down no so with the, the mystery box i know you can't say what's in it but someone just said susan said what was in it but she said they could change it that was what was in the first release. If it's the same one, they won't they won't change it, right? It'd be the same. No, stuff. pretty much. No, it's they're already packed. They only took it off because the website was having problems. Oma says it would be very hard for me without this video. Yes. I couldn't do it without the video either. Louise had to do a little short video on how to put this part together for me. Louise is so sweet. Thank you, Louise. So now we're putting glue on all the tabs. And even if the acetates aren't even, I think it'll still be okay. You can always cut them off the top. Okay, so now I have glue here, and we are going to... We're gonna pull the egg one down all the way, which is almost in the way of that piece. That's okay. So now we're gonna push these down. Now I'm gonna share a problem I had on my first one, um, is when you push them down and then pull this down, that acetate, it seems, no, it's pulled up. 
So I don't know if you can see in there, but see the bottom of the acetate? It's pulled up off of there. So I took my bone folder, which is kind of square. You can take any kind of a tool or anything. And then I'm placing that inside oops, on the acetate. Once I have this up and that down, I'm going to put this back because the, I bend the acetate too much when I fold that down. Louise says, it's my pleasure. Oh, thank you, Louise. Louise, if I'm doing anything wrong, please correct me. Fatima, I actually uh, recorded a taste test video today. I actually have two or three videos I need to edit to post for taste Fatima? test. Fatima? Does she have a channel or did she do it on Facebook? What are you talking about? You said Fatima recorded a... Fi a no, I said I. She said oh. I delicious energy drinks. Oh, I thought you said she No, I did said one. I. I just did. She asked you. Okay, got it. I just want to make sure this is dry where the acetate is. So I'm just pushing this tool down on it. Maybe double-sided tape on the acetate. Yeah. Okay. The file will be up after the, or like before. It'll be during the video. Yeah. She'll show you how to get the file once she's done with this project. Okay, that looks good. We don't have it all glued yet, but I just want to make sure it, okay. Oh, we got to put the bunny in. <laughs> don't glue it together yet. Okay. I got to color the bunny too. So what we're going to do is we are going to, there's two pieces of the bunny. I had it draw on one and then this one. And we're going to glue the bunny together. But before you glue it, you should fold on the score line. Because we do not want to glue these together because they're going to be like this on the bottom of the card. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue. Dawn's asking if Louise has a website. No. I don't think so. Not sure. Okay, so we got him all glued, and um, I t I'm taking a brown marker. Like I said, it can be anything, and I'm just going to trace over the eyes and the nose, just the outside of the nose, because I color in the nose with pink. I just want him to have a pink nose. And then the pink. And then the cheeks. I'm going to color it in lightly with one. And then I'm going to darken up the bottom of the cheeks by just coloring over it in that area. So it looks like he has little brightness on his cheeks. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the belly. Although I made the other bunny look so pretty in the belly, I was kind of proud of my coloring, all with one marker. But then you cover most of it up with the carrot. 
So the belly doesn't really make that much of a difference. What glue do you use? I'm using art glitter glue. You can also use barely art glue or any glue you like. And then his feet. And I had the Cricut draw with a pink pen. Robbie says, you all make, you all sure, well, oh my goodness, I cannot read right now. You all sure make getting my act together by 9 a.m. worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you guys, I was here at 1030. Now, if you guys are normal subscribers to my channel and you come to the videos early, like people come to my videos a half hour early to chat. And I try to be here too then, but usually I'm also doing other things like shout outs and things at that time and setting up the video and all of that. <laughs> um, and this morning I'm here like at 1030. I was rushing. I'm like, oh, I got to get everything ready. I come here at 1030 and I pop out the chat because I pop it out so I can just see the chat. And I'm like, there's only one person here waiting. Where is everybody? We posted about this. And then I'm like, wait a minute. I don't do videos at 11 on Tuesdays. I do them at 12. I was here way too early. <laughs> yeah. so. Okay, so I colored my bunny. He's just a widow rabbit. Okay, he needs his bow and his carrot. Okay, there's also a piece, and uh, Louise had this extra piece in a different color, which is how it should be. It has a little extra piece to add. Um, but I was lazy and I didn't want to cut that many different colors. <laughs> so you could just cut I it. cut it in the same color and then like it doesn't yeah. do it any justice. So I'm just taking a marker, drawing a circle here. Actually, I'm just going to draw the circle. And then I drew a few lines because doesn't a bow have kind of like lines in it? Yeah. Creases. Yeah, like creases. So... This is the shadow. Let me show you. And this gets glued on at the top. I also will say Louise had extra things in hers too. Um, you can add things to here. If you don't want this sticking up so hi you could put a little happy easter right here on this you could put bigger eggs here you could put carrots or you know anything you want you can decorate this all the way around if you wanted um i just love it and this is fun you can you can play with this instead of those what are they called the little round things you spin yeah <laughs> Okay, I think we're ready for the bunny. So now, before you put this together, you put the bunny, oh, no, I forgot, the carrot. And the I even have the cricket draw on the carrot. Pauline says our clocks go forward at the end of this month. It was March 14th when the clocks went forward here. Yeah. Where's she at? I don't know. Where are you, Pauline? She could be in the UK or something. I'm putting the top of the carrot on. Elizabeth. Okay. So now we put this in. straight we hold we just hold the bottom of this we're not gluing anything yet we're going to glue these so we can put glue on each side and glue them down but i'm just going to do one side at a time i think so 
So I'm going to put glue on the top of this. I need to get more glue in here. So your test cut, is that more so like what uh, Louise did? No. Oh, okay. This I is exactly know. the same. Okay. I, I actually, I'm like, I know I can do this correctly. I usually do a test cut and use not even pretty paper just to make sure I can do this and it's cutting right and everything. Well, especially when I design a file, I have to do a test cut to see if it works. This time I went ahead and cut two at the same time because when you're cutting the little eggs and stuff, like it's such little paper that you need. I'm like, it's much better just to cut more than one at once. Okay, so now I have one side glued down and I'm gonna hold these together where they need to be. Annie says and Germany does it at the end of the, uh, end of March as well. Oh. And now I'm going to put glue on this piece to glue it up to the bottom. Japan and Arizona don't do the daylight savings time. Florida had voted not to, yeah, but, but it has been, to be approved well, by the U.S. Florida is also in two different time zones. It is? Yeah, panhandle. I didn't know that. Part of the pan and open central sign. Okay, let's go ahead and glue this. Is this how this folds? Yeah, wait a minute. Oh, I forgot how it does it. Okay. We're going to glue this down. I hope I have this folded right. I mean, on the score line. I know it's folded right, but. Then we're flipping it over and then doing the other side. Creative Blessing says, I love the time change, more sunlight, but if it would just stay like this year yeah. round. I wish it would just stay this way year round. That's what Florida wants. Minnesota got two inches of snow yesterday. See, this one is not folding flat like the other one as much. And I think because of where I folded. Or maybe I didn't glue this down. I wonder if I can take that off. Let me get this straight. Okay, so what I should have done... Glue this down, put glue on that flap, and then put this down flat. Instead of just gluing it where I did on the score line. Chicago got snow too. It's crazy. It's been like 80 degrees all week. <laughs> so when you're gluing these sides down, push this one up, put glue on it, and then pull that one down. So it makes sure to fold flat. Because I think I didn't, this one's kind of curving because of that. I don't even remember how I did it. I guess I didn't fold it flat when I did it. Okay. So now we're going to glue in here. We're going to glue this tab. Hold on. I hope that doesn't go to my computer.
Okay. Make sure it folds flat. It does. There. Um, now these two pieces go on the bottom just to give it a nice finish. <gasps> I forgot something, guys. I forgot this. You put this on when you're putting the bunny on. I'm going to stick it in. This is why. This is why you don't. <laughs> you watch the video first. But this works. So when you put the thing in before you close it all up, you put the basket handle. Now there's extra basket handles. I, um... On this one, I glued two of them together just to make it sturdier, but I didn't on this one. And the basket handle goes behind the bunny and in front of these acetate pieces, which I'll just stick them there now. So now there's extra glue here because of that. Does glue come off by cutting that? This mat? I don't know. If you wipe it off when it's wet. Okay, Jamie says that would be really cool, Sue. Can you find Sue's comment? I wasn't there yet. Would it be cool to have dollar bills in addition to the eggs popping up? Oh. Like I was reading a, a comment before that. It says, I love it when you make mistakes and just keep going. It helps me encourage me to not get frustrated when I make a mistake. Oh, heck no. Don't get frustrated. It's crafting. It's supposed to be fun. You can always fix it. And you know what? If There's no reason you can't push it in there because that's not glued together in the center. This bunny is not glued in there. So look, the bunny I can even move a little bit. You could stick that in afterwards. So if you're watching this and you're doing it step by step like I did and you didn't know I made that mistake, uh, you can just stick it in. It will be fine. Nikki says her phone just tried to do a software update in the middle of her watching. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, now we're going to get uh, these. Now, the middle section of these is a little bit wider than the sides. So you have two of these pieces. And so when I took them off the mat, I tried to do it carefully and keep them in order and make sure that the wider one is in the center. I mean, I guess it's not a huge deal. It just might look a little off. If you don't know which one's wider, Just put them together. You can see the edge on this one. And you'll know which one's wider. And that one goes in the center. Now you could uh, go around the outside of these squares with some ink or purple marker or something. I thought the lines in the basket were enough. Sorry, Erin, I was looking at my phone when I was talking. Usually I've been turning to talk towards the microphone wherever that's at oh yeah that's a good idea so they can hear you better oh this would be a cute baby card could make a baby card with it a baby card yeah like for a new baby babies can't read it's for the mom of the baby <laughs> not the baby <laughs> Although, <laughs> my mom saved all my first baby cards and my first birthdays. Why? I don't know. I looked at them when I was older. 
I don't, them? I don't think so. If I did, I don't know what I would do with them. Yeah. A lot of them I was thinking, I don't even know the, who these people are. <laughs> Okay, now tell me, you guys, do you think this is easy enough that you could do it? You might have to follow along with the video the first time, but it's really not hard. I did follow along. Louise gave me a little short video to help me, and I did follow along with her video, but then that was the only one time I made that, and then I did this one. I did forget the handle, <laughs> but then I think I did everything right. Except for maybe when I I was just like putting these pieces together and like I said, I think fold that flat and then do it and you'll be better off. We're going to glue these pieces together. Bend that down. Bend this down on the score line. And I just want to say... Every card that has ever been sent here is still here. Yes. She keeps all of them. I even said, I'm like, what about these ones that have been here for years? Like, do we still need to keep them? And she's like, yes. And then I was like, I went to like put them away and I'm like, okay, I, I see. Well, at first... Motion is it's a package yeah. at first he was thinking oh we need to fold these on all the score lines now i'm folding it and the card wants to come up there we go i forgot fold them at first he's like i think we can throw them away and then he's like looking through them and he says okay i get it i know why you're not throwing them away i can't throw them away either <laughs> But we had to move them because there's so many. We put them in a clear bag, like a big clear garbage bag, so I can see them still and uh, put them in the top of my closet, the older ones. We still have, I hang them on my wall if you guys don't know. If you're new to my channel, you probably don't know that. I have a wall of gratitude. Like when you come in my front door, it's what you see. We haven't changed out many in a while. Um, so, and it has the words lit up of gratitude above them. Okay. So now you want to fold this. So the, oh, I don't know what to call this. The seams where we glued together are on each side. So it's back to like the original three. Okay, now I have to remember this part. We are going to put glue on this piece and this back piece at the same time. And then we're going to put that in here. And then we're going to stick that at the bottom here. And this will stick a little bit above the green at the top. So we're going to, I have it put the glue on, just want to make sure of what we're doing. Okay, so I'm going to take this off now and put the glue. So we're putting the glue on this square and we're turning it over and putting it on this one. I know I keep repeating myself, but it'll help you remember and help you know what I'm doing while I'm doing it. I turned it over. You need to make some type of creative keepsake or shadow box for them. That would be a There's hundreds. Very large shadow box. <laughs> I can't. Box. <laughs> it would be my whole wall. Yeah. I could make uh like there there's I can't do that. There's so many. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm holding this closed 
And then we're going to bring this up. Okay. I'm going to bring it all the way up. I want to keep it flat. So the bottom is right on the top of that area. Okay, that looks right here. Let me make sure I'm getting this right here. I think that's right. Then we're going to push that down. And then we got to put the Happy Easter sign on and then we're done. See, my folding this, not perfect. There we go. Okay, now you can just, what you do is you just push in here and that's what makes it pop flat. And then you can just push that in like that. Okay, now let's put the Happy Easter. Look, I used the new offset feature around the drawing. Um, I forgot what font that is. We can look at it in the file. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put glue on the acetate and then glue that sign to it. Okay, now, um, what'd they answer before? Can you guys make this? I didn't get to see the chat. A lot of people have been saying that they think they can make it now that there's a video. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to make things without a video. Isn't that cute? Thank you, Louise. And Louise has learned it's much harder to do in video. Could, it, could you glue eggs? Wait. Could you glue eggs by the bottom of the acetate too, or would that affect the closing? No, I think you could. I also thought you could glue them like inside, like on this handle. Like here, I have some extras. These are from, I printed these out. Let me do that. Let me. It this way you could make this uh a uh a chimney and have presents and santa popping up oh yeah and then instead of a handle have like i don't know i don't know what you would put there but i thought we could put more things on it See, I just added those eggs by the handle, just glued them to the handle. Still closes. You wouldn't want the eggs on the outside of the handle. Oops, now I popped it up too high. What is the finished size of the card? I don't know. Like when it's folded, I tried to figure that out. It's one, two, three, four, five, six across. Now, when one, two, three, four, five, six, it's a little over six. I could have pushed this handle down further in so it'd be lower. But with this, it makes it another inch higher. If you wanted to put it in a six by six envelope, you would have to use the short little things or you could use these and cut them off and then put the sign lower. Someone said reindeer. Now what if it was Santa and then instead of presents, it was little elves? Oh yeah, you could do that. I also want to do one with a cutie and then little cuties. Could you use vellum instead of acetate? Um, well, you would see the vellum. You could use cardstock if you wanted to. We're just using acetate because it's completely clear. I don't think vellum would hold up a sign. It has to be stiffer than that. 
So cute. I just love it. Do you guys love it? And it really isn't that hard once you see me do it. It's been an hour already. I believe it. Do we have, oh, let me add it to design space. Not to design space. Not to design space. I'm going to add it to, all I have to do is hit save. I've already done it pre-done. Okay. So we're going to go to my website. Um, and it won't take you guys an hour to do. That was us talking and me yeah. doing it all. So you go to MelodyLaneInspired.com. If you are a supporter of $2 or more, uh, you go up here to Supporter Projects. And... You can go to new. I did add more stickers and there are also more mug files. I made a new mug we file, but it's not on here mugs. yet. So we have to test it. And here's a mini slimline card with no picture. How did that happen? I'll have to add the picture. Uh, but where is this card? Oh, there it is. You can also go to the type pop-up. Pop-up cards. And there it is. And then you can also go to... Okay, Angela says a, a penguin with bunny ears would be cute. I like it. Then there's Easter. Where is it at? There it is. Okay. Um, so when you open my files, all you have to do is click open. And it opens into design space. And click open again. And then it brings you here. This does take a minute to... Um, open up because there is a lot of project or a lot of images in it and it was almost immediate oh it was wasn't it <laughs> yeah um so here's the file like i said you do not need four of these uh to keep it in size you probably want to use the little ones um and i want to give you a little warning let me click make it <sighs> Why are you doing that? I, I'm just showing them what this, I don't know why it turns those things upside down. Um, it's uncomfortable. And you can, to save paper, to be honest, you do not need all of these if you want to do this. Uh, to save paper, you can flip these around and kind of go like that. And you don't even need all these. Maybe I will move one. Or, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hide. I meant to hide. So then you're not using as much paper. Um, okay, let's hit cancel because we're not doing that. But thank you, Louise, for this. Uh, and I have so many ideas to make even more. All right, guys. Oh, look at the Go little to... bunny emojis. Bad bunny art. Go to what? The my, oh, my projects. Yeah. He wants to show you his. I have to test it first. We have to test this one. Alex made this one. He designed this by himself. There's not one bear <laughs> or penguin in this well, one. There's where's not your coaster? a camper. Because I was thinking of like making a coaster that goes with it where like so there's flowers on here and then it so when you put the coaster on it, it looks like you can like see the edge of this. He wants the flowers to grow up on the mug. Right. So that's kind so of my... So he made that mug. The only problem I see with it is that we have to test. Uh, let me hit custom. Because the, the font is... It says, this will be a great day. Isn't there's that no, cute? There's no thistle in the, the image, but still. <laughs> and I love that font. 
I have not found a time to use this font and I just don't know how well we it's gonna... don't know because it's so detailed if it's just gonna look I don't I'm not sure just all together like it's you're not gonna be able to see what it is you will definitely have to use a fine point pen. yeah uh, but we're gonna test this writing before we add and then this I thought project. we could color in the flowers like, yeah and then you could have a cricket draw these with and the... it's purposely going off so it's there's space oh at the bottom yeah I did that on purpose and then we could color this in with infusible ink markers or yeah. just leave them in black or you can change the color and put any color you want Ooh, put a secret animal mixed in there that would look cute I'll put a bunny like, yeah like a bunny or a squirrel we Possum. have those and no <laughs> a bunny or a squirrel they do Raccoon. have lots of those in access <laughs> so we and i'm not going to do a video on every mug wrap i i put in uh we did add those two with the different edges and you could slice out uh whatever you want it to say it's just a different edge for you to work with what font is that it's oh it's a great font ellie olivia, ellie olivia. when that came into the access i was like oh my gosh this is so pretty A B. I do not have a printed list of different fonts because they add them all the time and I don't know when they add them or what they add. So what I do have is if you go to my supporter projects and type in font, I have a, a list of thicker writing fonts. I didn't know open that. this one. Yeah, I kind of needed this for this Easter project. I'm like, I don't know which font to use. I want to use one that writes more j than just a thin line. Here it is. Um, I customize. Oh, why does it have question marks for the font? I thought it would give a, the list of the fonts, but the list of the fonts are in here. It's going to take this a minute to open. And if, if the font doesn't work necessarily, because I had to make it smaller for the flowers, then I'll make another one where the font is bigger on one side and then maybe flowers on the other side of the mug. Oh, no, that's a good idea. So Because I do like that font. We just need yeah, it bigger. Yeah. But I want to try it like this first. Okay. If you guys haven't noticed, text and words take longer to work with in design space. Yeah, I like raccoons. Raccoons are cool. Possums, not, not so much, but trash know. pandas are nice. Yeah. I like trash pandas. Trash pandas? Raccoons. <laughs> they can be very dangerous. Yeah, but if you throw it at all, can you draw on infusible ink with infusible ink pens? Yes, people have done that. I haven't done it yet. Okay, our words are back. Okay, then what's written is the name of the... I like the Spider-Man. This one is not included in Access, the Marvel Spider-Man. It was in a digital mystery box. I might have to make a Spider-Man mug. Yeah. Um... But I think you can still purchase this. But once, whenever Cricut has a license with Disney or Marvel or all of those, that license does not last forever. So at some point they disappear and we're not uh, warned that it's going to be disappearing. So, but once you buy it, it's there forever. So if you purchase it, you'll always have it. Yeah, and Agent Q it has extra lines in there. And this is what I mean by not just being a single line. It just... It just makes it thicker. Kinley hearts. I love this. It has little hearts. Kind of looks like arrows. This one fills in. Um, and depending on if you use an extra fine pen, you'll see all of these zigzags right in here. Let me zoom in more so you guys can see it better. Uh, but if you use a marker or a gel pen, possibly, depending on the size of the font, it will look solid in here. 
Heart Attack is cute. Headline News, I really like. It gives a little shadow here. Possums are good because they eat ticks and snakes. I didn't know that. I don't like snakes. I like possums more than snakes. And Ellie, Olivia, this is the one he used. So there's like little flowers in the letters and stuff, but yeah. it's just so little. Like, yeah. I'm not sure if it's going to... Elizabeth is having a little bit of trouble today. <laughs> that's not how that's supposed to look. Oh, I was like, I kind of like it, though. <laughs> um, I will report that to Cricket. Okay. Diamondback, it just has a little extra diamonds. DJ Jur, I really like this one. Oh, and I love confetti sprinkles. I never use this one. Once in a so while. It's different. You have, it depends on what you're writing. I like chicken scratch. Yeah, chicken scratch. Yeah. That looks like my handwriting. Yeah. If you get a postcard from me, you know that. <laughs> Car decals, it has the little circles. Beadwork is really pretty. It has, um, I'm going to call it beadwork on it. <laughs> Looks like little beads. The second Anna's, that would be, so uh, that one would be really cool. And like, if you could do each line a different color. It looks color. 3D. Right. So if you did like the. You can't. You could color it. Yeah. You could color in that open space there. And there's Anna's fancy lettering, Hannah. And then this Carson. one is Carson. And what's the next one? Abigail. Yeah, Abigail. Now, if there are more, there could be more. This was quite a while ago I made this. Uh, if you guys know of any, let me know and I'll add them to this list. Amy says that's how Elizabeth always looks to her. It's not supposed to look that way. It didn't used to. Okay. Uh, Glenda, this list is on Melody Lane Inspired under Supporter Projects if you search fonts. Oh, I made a mini slim card, too. Where's that at? In your project. Well, under my collection. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I missed a question or anything, just put it in the comments below and we'll answer that. Yes, the file card. with the fonts is available on my website. Yeah, we do need a Captain America mug. Maybe I'll make some Marvel stuff. Just know that stuff's not included in Access. But if you bought the mystery boxes that I sell, the digital ones, you might have it and not even realize it. Uh... Mary on Facebook said she just tried Elizabeth and it's okay on her end. I wonder if it's different on the mobile app. What if you go into it now, since that's like, if you open that, go back to that and type a new thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You so, think that's just what if it, bad text. Okay, I'm going to change this to writing. Go here. Search a Liz. E Liz. E Liz. See? Oh. Yeah, it's. No, it's okay. I wonder if, you if just... I switch this off to another one and then put it back to E Liz. I'm just going to do L. Did I hit enter? Oh, now it's giving me all the ELs. It's down right there. Oh, look at that. Fixed it. They did fix it. I thought so. Oh, where'd that hello go? Up oh, top. Okay, I want to delete that. So delete and save. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to save this. See, I really like that, Elizabeth. And then you can move the letters No, together. Kathy, she does not sell mystery boxes. Cricket sells the mystery boxes. Um, if you haven't heard, it's March Madness. There's usually more than one or two or three mystery boxes in March. But for this month of March, I am not allowed to tell you what's in them or even allowed to say when they are available. Okay? So, 
you might see other people say they're available that's, like customers. that's what we need to go check but we can't confirm those of us who do the reveal videos none of us can reveal what's in it there are no videos to reveal it and there is nobody telling you when they're going to be there now there might be somebody that happens to find it and then they go to facebook and share it everywhere then you know <laughs> robbie says maybe it's the cricket you can't share it maybe the cricket peeps are watching your video and they're like oh let's let's fix the elizabeth thing right now <laughs> no, they probably fixed it and probably saved in my file that way yeah What file are the fonts in on your site? Looked under type and don't see fonts. I, I just searched fonts. So let me go back. So there is no, I have no idea what type these would be in. That's probably under miscellaneous. And it's not under Easter either or pop-up cards. I just typed, let me make this blank again. So I just typed font. Just F-O-N-T, and it's there. So this is under supporter projects. It might be in this one too. So this is if you don't support, you wanna see some of the projects. It's not all of the projects. Let me see if it's here. So if you wanna see it, you can, oh yeah, you can't open it make this so you can open it later because I mean it's just the fonts. fonts. Uh Gail, will you tell me about the mug wrap you recently showed? Which I'm not sure which one you're talking about. Like that we showed on the computer or Sheila says, Melody, I love that you and your son craft and do videos together. That's so precious. Just saying. Thank you. Gemma, you'll have to rewatch the video. Yeah. But she did make this. Yeah. If you guys just joined, we made this Easter basket. It was really easy. I, I made the Easter basket. It was really easy. And it folds flat. Isn't that fun? I'm really hungry. Oops. Click oh, the it went the wrong way. Oh. <laughs> go to the bottom of the chat so we can see new chat. Okay, guys, we gotta go. We got things to do today. I'm excited, but I can't tell you what we're doing. You want to see my, hold on, my projects, I think. We got this mug wrap is not available yet. And then these two were added. And look at this one. This is a project. It's not really done yet. But with the offset feature, you can make amazing stickers and the new images in Design Space. You guys, yesterday, no, Monday, Monday morning, I looked in Design Space and there's new images. They're so pretty. This is taking a long time because there's a lot of text in this one. Uh, Gemma says did the live time. Okay, so Gemma's in the UK, right? Yes. So our time has changed to spring forward yes. right now it is 1 25 p.m we started at 12 p.m so if you guys don't change your time then yes or if you change it at the end of the month we change it march 14th yeah so now it's we're back now we're, we're at a different time um aren't these awesome i don't know if they're too small for stickers they're bigger than Normal. Oh, um, my mouse is on the wrong. Whoops, I want to make it bigger. So I took these images from Design Space. They were just the words. And then I added 
the offset. Like here, let's take this one. You can't see the offset. We're going to unflatten it. So it just came like this, but these were all black and I added color because I like color. And then I just hit the offset and I think I might have contoured them and then flattened them. And now we have a print and cut sticker and it will cut just the outside. Aren't they pretty? Yes, these would be great magnets. The update is coming very soon. The wildflower draw mug is not in design space and it's not on my on my website yet. Um, the flowers were from design space. They're in access. Gail, once we test the, the flower mug draw and if it works, then it will be in her files. Yes. But we have to test the font. If the font doesn't work, then we have to change the mug up a little bit. All right, guys, we're going to have to go. And if you just followed us, start back from the beginning of the video. And if you're on Facebook, you can easily find all my videos at youtube.com slash Melody Lane. Will the maker cut out a magnet sheet? Yes, it does. Depending on how thick it is. The Cricut used to sell printable magnet sheets. I think I still have some. 